Hey everyone, your boy KP here from the No Justice, No Peace Report. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for supporting the channel. Um, as you know, a few, a couple videos I've put up so far, YouTube took them down. Listen, I apologize for that, folks. Unfortunately, that's the kind of world we live in where censorship is a big deal. If you're not saying the same thing that everyone else is saying, then um you know you're foolish or you are in this particular case you're not a scientist trust dr fauci and trust everyone else we should just say one thing one thing is go out and take whatever vaccines they have for us because yeah we're all gonna die that's it right and um suppress all voices so i didn't understand what you were saying before but um, I didn't realize that they took the link out. So my video is up, but they took the link away from the, um, from the videos. So my apologies, right? I'm gonna figure this out. Not necessarily having to do with YouTube, but um, you know, it belongs to Google, it belongs to Alphabet, so they can do whatever they want in terms of suppressing people's voice. And that is never good. All social media, never ever good, right? But that's another story. Bill Gates came out with a video, I think I've shared that already, where he's talking about the next pandemic that's coming, which is incredible. This man just seems to be, um, he's not a scientist. He's not being, um, um, what should I, censored. He's a billionaire and he's making lots of money in the pandemic. Bezos, Gates, Murdoch, um, what's his name the Elon Musk a whole bunch of these guys in a pandemic where people are dying and uh, losing their jobs but these guys are filthy they got even richer monoclonal antibodies that's what he said in the video talking about the second pandemic monoclonal antibodies can't say I've heard of it before um, don't know what it's about so I decided to go check when I checked like for example I checked the FDA website right and um, you know they don't necessarily break down what it is like I'm interested in knowing in about um, ingredients um, you know what it's comprised of or you know what it does I mean I think they, they will explain that it helps the immune system right and I'll put this on the description box so for example the Food and Drug Administration looking at an article here approved gave the emergency use authorization November the 21 2020 for this thing called monoclonal antibodies for um, in adults and pediatric patients 12 years of age or older weighing at least 40 kilograms and um, you know they use um, they use some some medical terminologies here that I really don't didn't know what they were or, or, or what they are but anyways it says Cassiri V Mab Mab M A B right I'll put the article in there, go read it for yourself. And then another word, imdevimab, administered together, were shown to reduce COVID-19 related to hospitalization and emergency room visits in patients. That's what it says here. But what is it? What is it? Um, it's a laboratory made proteins that mimic the immune system to fight off harmful pathogens such as viruses. All right, you know, it sounds good, right? And that's what we want to hear. And um, I continue to go press a little bit more because, you know, I still want to know, you know, a lot about what, what ingredients there are, what they're using to make this thing. Um, the other article here from, um, uh, this is a, a medical um, website that says um, it's mimicking the human body's natural immune response. Um, it's available as treatment for COVID-19 patients at high risk of progression. progression to severe disease. So basically when you have a compromised immune system, um, this is what they're suggesting or recommending that you use. All right, once again, you know, that's good, right? Um, an antibody is a protein that naturally produced by the immune system in response to an infection. All right, good to go. The next one now, the next one that I found um, is from the American Cancer Society. And they said, uh, what are MABs? So basically monoclonal antibodies. Um, and they have, you know, this MABs and MOABs and things of that nature. 
So they broke down what it's made of and which is what I'm interested in, what it's made of. Four different ways can be it can be made and it's based and it has a name, right, to distinguish it. The murine, these are made from mouse proteins. There we go. Mouse proteins and the names of the treatment end in um, OMAB. Chimeric. Chimeric. This is from the American Cancer Society. I'll put it in the description box. Check it out. The proteins are a combination of part mouse and part human. And the names of the treatment end in Chimab. Right? Humanized. These are made from small parts of mouse proteins attached to the human proteins. And the names of the treatment end in Zumab. The, and then human, these are fully human proteins and the names of the treatments end in UMAB. So there you have it, monoclonal antibodies. You didn't know, it's mouse base, right? Um, you know, this is just, they're putting it out there, um, you know, for people to use. Bill Gates is touting it. And when Bill Gates is pushing something, you have to, not just use these two eyes, you gotta use your third eye. Your third eye, look at these things because when profit is involved, when money is involved, right? Don't know if you're a believer, but the good book says, the love of money is the root of all evil. So if they can get money out of things like these, they don't care about your health, all right? So just putting this out there in terms of um, what I discovered um, monoclonal antibodies are, all right? Take care of yourself. It's your boy KP. Stay woke and stay red.